Hey guys, Evelyn here and Ironic Exclusive and Tim show you guys this cool text effect you see in front of you. Hey boy, hey boy. It's very easy and simple. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. You must have a, a Sapphire plugin to achieve this effect, but if not, you can actually just change where I put the Sapphire plugin for a push plugin, um, and I'll show you guys that as well. But let me show you guys how I did it. So here we have our basic uh, setup. I just have three empty tracks, and then a solid color track, and then my audio. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and on the bottom one, we're just going to go into legacy text, drag in our first text here. We're going to type in, in all caps, hey boy. You can substitute boy Y for a boy I. It's up to you. Um, but we're just going to do this here. I'm going to size it up to maybe about 108. Best full. Like so, so we get crisper outlook. We're gonna go into properties. I'm gonna track it just a little bit, maybe scale it just a little bit as well. And then we're just going to go ahead and change the color to whatever you want. I'm gonna leave, um, maybe I'll do this one, uh, orangey text. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just back here. I'm gonna have my indicator at the end of the audio, right click and trim end. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go control and drag it up once, you create a new copy source media, click OK, and we're going to go into that, leave it the same font and everything, but we're just going to change the color to white, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and drag it up one more time to our last text spec, create new source media again. This time we're going to go in, and instead of having to say hey boy, we're just going to hold shift and have under scroll. Um, line like so so that it fits the whole project we're going to turn on our grid here and we're just going to go placement you can use the placement to uh, move it up or you can just go pan crop and move it up like so where it, it meets the center like so and if you and that's why the grid is up for so we can have the center meet now we're going to go to our white hey boy we're going to go into pan crop again, click mask, and we're just going to have it on a square mask, click and drag it so that we have just white on top, pink on bottom, or if you want orange on top and white on bottom, you can right click and just, or go to mode and click negative, so it has a flip effect like that, but I want the white on top, so I'm going to change to positive, and then we have it like that, so we can exit out of the grid, and we have this so far, I'm going to press shift B, and it does nothing yet, but we're going to go ahead and bring in a transition, so I'm select all of my lay all my effects, just the text effects, and I'm just going to zoom in, or fade in, to about 8, and then fade offset to about 8 as well, so we're going to shift B to pre-render, and then have it like that, and you can leave it like this, it's like a little blink, but what I want to do is, we're going to use a transition, and we're going to use a sapphire, um, Swish pan on default, and we're going to drag it into the t every one of the transitions here, like so. So, Shift B, and it's not going to uh, do it all because I have it on best full. So, I'm going to do preview full Shift B. And see if it'll render it all. If not, we're just gonna have to do a uh, default auto audio auto. Um, but it just it lags on the edges because of the transition. But once it like pre-renders it all, we can play it, and you can see how it looks. So it pre-rendered all, so we can play it. And you have something like that. But if you don't have the uh, switch pan plugin, you can actually just change it for a push. Um, so we're going to go scroll up, we're going to go into push, and we're going to go push and left. And you just want to drag it in and just replace them with that one. It's not going to be the same blur effect you get with the switch pan, but it does um, do the same effect. It's just a tad different. 
So I'm going to shift B on this one as well. And that's the effect you have. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Um, if you have any comments, leave them in the comment box below. If you have any requests, leave them in the comment box below. And I'll do my best to get those done for you guys once again. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to have more for you guys next time. Bye, guys.